I'm Aoife, I was diagnosed with MS in 2011 and I am joining MS Reporters here at Ectrum's 2019 in Stockholm. In a minute I'm going to be interviewing Helen Treblett about if MS is becoming a milder disease. So during your presentation you discussed the MS prodrome. Can you explain what that is and how it helps us to understand MS. Yeah, I think this is a really interesting area. So this will be of no surprise to anyone with multiple sclerosis, but essentially, essentially the prodrome, we're looking here at the period before MS symptom onset. So I'm sure most people with MS will have sat with their neurologist and, and defined this kind of date that their MS probably started. Well, what we're realizing is that even before that MS symptom onset date, people with MS were accessing the health system more frequently than you would expect for a whole range of conditions. And this is what we're calling the MS prodrome. So these are symptoms that occurred before MS symptom onset more than you would expect. So for example, we were finding in the five years before MS symptom onset, there were 50% more referrals or visits to psychiatrists. There were 50% more diagnoses for depression and anxiety. We were picking up things like fatigue, um, uh, sleep disturbances, bladder disorders, irritable bowel syndrome, pain. And so what it's suggesting for us is two things. Well, well firstly, it suggests to us that we should be recognizing MS earlier and, and we're not doing a good job of that. And I think some of these symptoms are people with MS realizing that there's something strange going on and maybe people aren't taking their symptoms seriously and that could explain part of the depression and anxiety pieces that we're finding. So it suggests that there's an earlier opportunity to recognize MS and, and, and diagnose MS, and maybe inter, in, to intervene in MS as well, um, if we're able to. And a, and a second factor I think is really, really, really important. If we want to know what causes multiple sclerosis, we want to look at the period before people develop any symptoms whatsoever. So we need to consider as researchers this MS prodrome and how long it might last. We could measure it for at least five years, probably last for longer. And we must not look at that period if we want to know what causes MS. We must look before that period. Otherwise, these people probably already have multiple sclerosis. Just we haven't picked it up or the medical system hasn't formally recognized them as having MS. Um, so what we now know about the MS prodrome, that can you know, help people who currently live with MS to understand those symptoms that they maybe had prior to diagnosis when they didn't feel like they were necessarily being heard or they didn't understand them. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. And we're really hopeful that we can take these findings um, forward in the future and prevent that frustration for future people when they're developing multiple sclerosis. You know, recognize these, these I'm going to call them fuzzy symptoms, but we don't currently classically recognize them as being related to the onset of MS. And we're hoping we can use this knowledge and um, um, maybe save that confusion, frustration, um, early on uh, during that diagnostic process and hopefully get people diagnosed more promptly.